All right, so these are what we're going to make today. It's a couple of candlesticks made out of maple, walnut, paduke, and down on the bottom is purple heart. Um, I was commissioned to make these by a friend of ours. And in this video, I will uh, try to minimize how much I talk over, but I will uh, make the, the blanks in this video. So off camera, before we started, I made the what you see in front of you, uh, just pushed them through the table saw. It's maple, walnut, and paduke. The purple heart just as an at was an afterthought because I wanted the base to be bigger. So here I'm just trying to lay out where where the pieces are going to go and here you can see the how the stock's going to look once it's all done. Hopefully. Here I'm just milling it up. All I'm going to do is the top and the bottom because I don't want to lose width when I, because I'll need to mill it up once I glue the sets of three together. Here I'm putting pencil marks on it to make sure that when they run through the planer, it's taking off something from each one of them to make sure that they they all are going to have a smooth surface for glue up. So with any blank like this, there's going to be lots of stages of glue up. This one, I'm just going to glue the layers together. So uh, the hardest part was I didn't have a piece of paduke. Those, those pieces of paduke were actually recycled marimba keys. So I didn't have any that were long enough. So what I'm doing is, uh, you'll see here in a second, when I put these together, I struggle a little bit trying to make sure that they're nice and flat but uh, it worked out really well in the end. Uh, it, I tried to make that an area where I cut it off, but I glued it together there, squeezed it together really tight when I then clamped it together. There I am holding it while I tighten the clamps. But once the glue even tries to grab a little bit, it kind of it solidifies pretty well. Just taking it off a little bit so when I run it through the planer it at least have, it has a somewhat flat surface to uh, run across the bed. And now I'll glue, by, glue it up into a big block. Um, I got this uh, ink roller idea from the Wood Whisperer. Uh, it works really well. I would highly recommend it. Uh, I think it was the video when he made a cutting board and I'm just too lazy to put my hearing protection and lung protection on and off and on and off in between steps so I often just leave it on. I realize there is no need during a glue up to have your protection on. And every clamp that goes on has got to come off. Just cleaned it up here a little bit. You didn't, I didn't really need to because this is going to go directly on the, the lathe once I just chop the ends off on the chop saw. So now go to the chop saw, cut off the end, 
or cut off both ends, there's a, a look at the blank. And then the camera cut out here, but I cut I cut that in half. That'll be the two pieces of the candlestick. Now, here is where I learned a, an important camera issue. Never, ever attach a camera to the lathe itself. Because every time I turn the lathe on, it, it shakes like crazy. So, I learned my lesson. In the next video, I don't do it at all. But in this video, it only happens a little bit here and there. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty jiggly. So, I apologize in advance for that. So I turned it round, and then I turned it around to round off the other end. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. And then I true up the end of it here because I will glue the purple heart directly to the end of that on the lathe. And again, I apologize for the camera work there. Um, just a learning process. I'm a school teacher, so most of my videos will happen over the summer, and this is the first video of the summer, and I forgot how I did this last summer. In the final product, uh, there's a little bit of a the gap between the the blank and the purple heart isn't perfect. Um, I wish I would have put a sanding block on the end of the blank to smooth it out a little bit. It had a little bit of a fray to it. So all that I did, all that I'll do in this video for the rest of it is I that square base. I just uh, made a little triangle of wood, and again I attached to the bandsaw like an idiot. Uh, I just put that there for some support, and I'm just knocking off the uh, corners so that in the next video, it'll be a little easier to turn that round. So, uh, in the next couple of days, I'll try to get the video of the candlestick up when I'm turning it, but that is the blank. So that's where I'll leave you today. Again, that's maple, walnut, paduke in the middle, and then the base is purple heart. So, I hope you like this video. Um, I apologize for the shaky camera work. Um, and I hope to see you again.